Eric modified the regulator. Modified it? Well, okay. Well, if that's the case, I suppose Eric knows what he's doing. I'll install it and hope that's the case. Thanks for bringing it. Eric will sort out payment for you. There's one way to think about it. About the broken energy. Lutz has the energy regulator. Good. The dome should be more stable now. I thank Kalan for sending you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard to get parts out here. Well, there's not always an easy answer. There's nothing sh- An outlaw? I don't see too many of you up here. But then, the clerics don't set out to make you feel too welcome, do they? But you should know that I don't feel like that. In fact, I used to be one of you. I know. Traitor. You left Tavar and all that. But as it goes, I have tried all of the factions except the Alps. You were an outlaw before? That's a long story. If you're really interested in my tale, then I will tell you, of course. Sure, let's hear it. I'd like to hear it. You want to tell me over drinks sometime, or tell us here? Tell me your story. How did you end up joining the clerics? Right, I'll give you the full version. Well, the short version of the full version. Just get on with it. Okay, I'll try to keep it short. So, I grew up in Goliad in Adan. My father and mother were both born berserkers, and so that meant I was too. Back then, Bajar ruled over Goliad. As a child, I had no interest in the laws, of course. But when I was about 12 years old, one of the warlords came to our home. He took my parents, and I was left on my own to survive in the city. I remember him. I remember my parents leaving. And I remember me screaming. But everything else is gone. It's just a blur. What happened to your parents? Well, what else? They were exiled. Nobody ever told me why they were exiled. I still don't know what they did, even today. I hate the Berserker laws. Nothing against the Berserkers. They're just people. It's the laws I hate. I think what the Berserkers want to do with Magellan is right. But I can never forgive them for what they did to my parents. Why was I punished for whatever my parents did? Why wasn't I told what had happened? I swore never to return. And I haven't set foot in Idan again. Where did you go? Wherever I needed to, to survive. That meant running from reavers and wild animals. It didn't take long for some reavers to take me captive. And then... I don't want to talk about that. I was lucky, though. After several years, the reavers were attacked by some of the Duke's outlaws, and they took me back to Tavar. I learned how to fight. How to live off scrap. Life wasn't much different for me, Dan. But there wasn't the same raptor shit. The laws. You could be who you were, and no one judged you. Then why didn't you remain with the outlaws? Because the Reavers who'd taken me captive came to the fort and wanted to speak to the Duke. I think they wanted to take me back. I fled when they saw me. I didn't want to be taken back, or for them to kill me to hide their crime. When I left the fort, I ran into a cleric patrol. They convinced me to go to the Hort with them, not that I really needed that much convincing. 
All those hours taking scrap apart and putting it back together in Tavar really paid off there. The clerics recognized that I was good with technology. So, I've been working on mechs and AI systems since then. Building things. Trusted. Part of a team. And it's easier being with mechs. They don't judge anyone. They treat everyone the same. Like this place. I know it's not perfect. But outlaws, berserkers, clerics, even elves are seen as people. At least that's the vision. Not always the way it happens. That's another reason to maintain these mechs. To protect what we have here. Well, I hope you find your place in the world. It's good when you do. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here in Abessa? I take care of the mechs and drones here in the city. Which means I coordinate and plan their maintenance and upgrades. When I'm lucky, I get to roll up my sleeves and do some of the actual maintenance. Which I'm having to do quite a lot, with all the technicians we're missing. Say, are you good with technology? I know the basics. <laughs> Unfortunately, that wouldn't be enough, I'm afraid. We don't really have time to train people on the job. And not if they're not going to stay here for good. And you don't look the type for that. On the other hand, if you're looking for some part-time work, I could still use your help. I have four people I've been told I should look at for taking the technician's job, but I don't have time to gauge their abilities. Would that be something you could do for me? I'd pay you. Yeah, I'll talk to your candidates. Great. The four names I have are Daryl, Naira, Rorick, and Riley. Though I'm really not sure about Riley. There's something about him I don't trust. But speak to each of them and let me know whether you think they might have the right skills and abilities for the job. Oh, and I'll need you to let me know about their loyalties. You know, can they work with clerics? Do they hate us? We'd be trusting them with the mechs and AI that defend the Dome City. So I don't want to employ anyone who might still be thinking about their faction, not our security. Am I crazy? Or is our generator power fluctuating? The B-Series was never Not very now. reliable, you know that. Oh, oh, then now. why are we still working with that piece of crap? Ask the technicians. Parts, repair skills, blah, blah. You never get the same answer from them twice. Well, it's hard to get parts out here. Don't tell me you're backing them. Yeah. Well, well there's later. not always an easy answer. There's nothing shards and hard work can't solve if you really want to. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. The dome is a gift from Kalan. Nep Get out of here. Hey, you're new here in the city, right? Yes, I've just arrived. I thought so. I saw you come through the gate, you see? Anyway, I want to ask you something, if that's all right. Have you been to Adan recently? To the Berserker city of Goliath, to be exact. A good friend of mine is still there. Who's your friend? His name is Kral. He's a guard at the Mana Shrine. At least, he was when I left. He thought he still had a chance to save his brother, Grimar, from the Alb Converter. Do you know what happened to him? No. I don't know, Kral. No? Okay, well, thanks. And thanks anyways. Vivian sent me. Is it about the technician job for the clerics? Yes. I'm interested, but I'm not sure that this is the job for me. I mean, I've not had much to do with technology. I've tried to learn since I came to Abessa, but I'm still only just starting out. What experience do you have with technology? 
Well, back in Goliath, I used to take machines apart. There aren't many I've not seen from the inside. Strange, really. My job used to be to get rid of technology, but now all I want to do is put it back together. The clerics make some incredible things. I mean, just look at the dome. That's an amazing feat of engineering. So, now you've left it, Dan. What do you think about the clerics? I'm grateful they let me in. They don't bother me, and I don't bother them. I'm not a berserker anymore. I live here. If you get orders you don't like, will you run away from here like you did from a Dan? I don't know. But the clerics don't ban some people from doing some things and not others. If I want to learn about technology, they'll let me. They're the same with everyone. I've heard enough. Okay. What does an anarchist want with me? To drive me off? Or maybe even have me killed? You don't scare me. Your people are a plague upon this land. Although, there is something different about you. Do you usually spend time with people like us? I know a lot of Albs. You do? There are few non-Albs who can say that. We could use more people who speak for us. Their free people fear us. That is an obstacle to our survival. Vivian sent me. About the technician job. I am without question the best candidate they will find. Therefore, selecting me is the logical choice. But I need proof that the clerics are really willing to work with me. If I am to work for the clerics, then I would like to be paid. The free people seem to value shards above all things, and so payment would be proof that they take me seriously. You will get your payment. Good. Then tell the clerics I can begin work immediately. I've never trusted her. This sanctuary is under my protection. You need to understand that. Your place, your rules. I understand. You're a berserker. Is a Dan trying to conquer Abessa? I don't answer to a Dan. And these people belong to no faction. They belong only to themselves. I stand as their protector against anyone who would force them to do otherwise. My only connection to Idan is my magic. I wish it was more, but wishes don't make things so. Have you been exiled from Goliad? Exiled? No. There are those in Idan who want to use my magic for their own purposes. Ever since my power started to grow, they changed me. Their mana changed me, and that change just won't stop. I'm becoming stronger and stronger. It is terrifying. If that's true, why don't you use your power? I do, I have. But sometimes it overwhelms me. That's why I fight alone. If I lose control of a spell, there's a chance I could kill anyone and everyone around me. The warlords wanted to test me try my powers to harness them now i need to find a solution myself but to do that i need to study the properties of elix to learn more about it what brought you out here this is a place away from the war a place people can make up their minds without being pressured to join one of the factions if the people here wanted to join a faction they would have but some people aren't ready for that or they've been cast out they have to go somewhere. So there's no faction in charge here? Well, the clerics keep order, but it's not like the Hort where entry means you have to join them. Here you can forget about factions. 
Are you always so edgy? Are you trying to pick a fight? Whoa, no, 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 no. No, I'm trying to defuse things. You know you wouldn't need to defuse things if you didn't get people wound up in the first place. Damn, this is like being back in Goliath all over again. I could use someone like you. Use? There's a word I've heard too much. Well, count me out. I'm not interested in being used. I could help you. What do you know of what I need? What do you know of how to help me? Elix marks people. Mana, Cam's exposure from food tainted by it. It stays with people. You have its mark on you. You're different somehow. What is it about you? I took Elix in the past. Is that what you're seeing? Or is there something else? Took it? You were fed it. You were an Alb soldier. Well, it seems we have something in common. We've both been fed Elix in one form or another. It's changed us. And neither of us know what that means we are now. What do you think? My offer still stands. And what exactly is it that you're planning? I am going to end this war by taking the fight to the Alexiters. And I'm trying to put together a group skilled enough to win that fight. And you think I'll take part in this? In return, I will help your quest to find the Elix you're searching for. Then you can improve your magical abilities. You said yourself, the longer you are here, the more you fear your powers will overwhelm you. The longer you stay here, the more danger you put these people in. If you really want to protect them, you need to leave. Even if that's true, why should I leave with you? I was an Alb. I know Elix, and I know magic. I know the impulses that follow you even during sleep. I know the nightmares and the problems of trying to control power that really wants to control you. And I know what it's like when all that is taken from you. We can help each other. And it's not like I have other options. Not in the long term. You're right. I'm hiding from it here. I need to get out there and find a real solution. I'll wait by the main gate, and we'll see if your actions can match your words. You should stock up here before we go. I will meet you by the gate. Just don't keep me waiting, or you might find I change my mind. Ah, the gift and treasures of travel, for it brings new encounters. So what are you? Merchant? Bounty hunter? Or a nobody, like most people out there? Don't you recognize an outlaw when one's standing in front of you? Oh, yeah. Should have trusted my nose instead of my eyes. But as far as I see it, the way we are now, we should get along wonderfully with each other. I mean, otherwise, you wouldn't have even spoken to me, right? Vivian sent me to talk to you about the technician's job. Yeah, good. And I'd like to apply for the job. And I'm willing to pay any price to get it. While I'm certain there must be people better qualified than me, there isn't anybody who will pay you as much as I will. What do you think about the clerics? What's this got to do with the job? This job is about technical reliability. And I can assure you that I am technically reliable. And as for my interests, you can count on me being a pacifist. I want to do anything to avoid a war. And the better access I have to new information, the better equipped I'll be to ensure a war doesn't suddenly break out without anybody seeing it coming. How good are you with technology? Absolutely crap. I don't know one end of a screwdriver from, well, a hammer, to be honest. But I'm a fast learner. And if I have someone I can ask, then the rest won't be a problem. And did I mention the whole financially rewarding aspect of selecting me as the candidate? I've heard enough. Okay. And remember to put in a good word for me with Vivian. I'll make it worth your while.
Да. Well, that was a serious waste of time. I don't agree to just anything, so try again. About the candidates for tech. Yes? Tell me about Daryl. Daryl is an outlaw. He's applied to be a technician, but I don't know why. So I want to know his motives and what his technical experience is. I'm hoping you can get that information. If he's skilled and trustworthy, then employing him might show that we do trust outlaws here. But I don't know that much about him. I don't even know where to find him. You should make the outlaw Daryl your technician. Well, I said we might be able to trust an outlaw, but tell me what it was that convinced you. He knows his way around technology, and I'd say his loyalty is to technology, not his faction. Ah, that is good to know. I want to believe you. I don't want to judge him by his faction, but I've been warned against hiring outlaws. I hope you're right about him, so... Well, fine. We will see. I will take him on. Thank you for helping me with the selection. Here. Your payment, as promised. I'd better go and take care of my new recruit right away. This should secure us going forward. At least I hope so. Hey, that was great. Hey, have you got a few sharp? Help me out and I'll tell you about the city. This guy reminds me of my brother. We had to beg for a while when we ran short of sharp. We would have starved if it wasn't for the little people gave to us. Get out of here. Yes, of course. Just give me a few shards and I'll... You'll get nothing from me. The weak should not be rewarded. You're a piece of work, you know that? What the fuck? What kept you? here now so you are and are you planning on telling me where you've set up camp or what comes next or do I have to wait for that too okay I'll tell you what's happened so far you've done a lot but you still have got a lot of work ahead of you or we have and we're not going to get where we need to without a jetpack don't worry I know how to use one of those I'll keep up with you now can we talk about my problem there's just one more thing. Yes? Why did you have to become an outlaw of all people? To begin with, it seemed like the best way to survive. But that isn't everything. My own people tried to kill me. I want to find answers, and joining a faction has to help me find them. I hope you're not just doing this for your own personal reasons.
You said you wanted to study the properties of Elix. How will you do that? I can feel the presence of Elix. Mostly where it's present in great quantities. Like the converter? You don't need any special powers to feel the Elix there. No, I'm talking about unrefined Elix. When it's raw, latent. I can learn more from it when it hasn't been altered. I want to explore Magalan and look for some large deposits of unrefined Elix. Deposits? I thought Elix arrived with the comet. You're right. Part of its power is that it isn't from here. I want to discover how it is spread across Magalan. But when it is processed by the Albs, the Elix changes. It becomes... polarized. The transmuted form that the Berserkers get from their mana shrine changes it in similar ways. That keeps some of its power, but it's the Elix that came with the comet that I want to learn more about. I feel that it... that there are secrets to learn about it. To understand those secrets, I need it untouched. Pure Elix. How do you want to find these large Elix deposits? When the Comet Impact spread Elix across Magalan, it found its way everywhere. Into the seas, the rock, the air we breathe. But it is collected and concentrated in some places. I have felt the vibrations, the presence of these deposits. I want to track them down and examine them. If it's so close, why hasn't anyone else found it? I don't know. Maybe because nobody can feel Elix like I can. Your senses are better than Alb technology. Come with me and find out. Where can you find this unrefined Elix? The first deposit I'd like to investigate is north of the city of Abessa. I can show you. How are you? I'm okay. I can see that you're struggling with your emotions. It must seem more natural to fall back on logic alone. I'll try to assist you in your struggle in any way I can. People will only follow you if you can understand the world from their perspective, if you truly support their interests. All right, show me the way. It's not far from the city. Follow me. There is a vast amount of elix flowing into the sea. It washes out of the cliffs and the ground, and it flows out across the planet. Elix is everywhere. But you still think we need to find concentrations of it? Yes, from the moment the comet struck, elix has been seeping into everything on Magalan. That makes the background noise from it hard to read. If I'm to learn more, we must follow those mutants to find where the elix is coming from. We know where we have to go. I'll follow you this time. That was great. I am better at sensing Elix than any person I know, but there are mutants with the same ability. We should be careful in case the Elix deposit has attracted them.